happy final foodie Friday ever. Ooh, wah, wah, wah. It is the last foodie I Friday. Know. And it's two weeks before Christmas, so hopefully you guys have your shopping done and holidays. I am Danny Gurry coming to you live from the Key 103 Kitchen on Industry Lane. This is my friend Dina Carroll. Hi, good morning. And yes, it is the final Foodie Friday. But we're taking we're taking bets on what it'll be reinvented as. So we're kind of taking opinions. How about if you would like to come up with something like maybe Munchy Monday or <laughs> Whip it up Wednesday. <laughs> I had to get that in there. You knew I did. So Dina's too sad about us not doing this anymore. So we want to reinvent it, maybe just highlighting one business mm -hmm. each week that bakes, makes, or creates bakes. cocktails, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. winery. I think maybe we should just do wineries, distilleries, and oh, breweries. Oh, well, that's fine by me, too. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yeah. That would be wet your whistle Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thirsty what? Thirsty no, that's old. Uh, that's Everyone an old does one. That. Yeah. Well, don't do taco Tuesday. Not enough taco. Not no, no, taco no, no. Wet your whistle Wednesday. I like wet your whistle Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So maybe we do Cheers. a cocktail and a little snack. Ooh. Ah, now okay. we're talking. So coming maybe 2022. We'll be working on that. But for now. We want to talk about three great places. It is a fabulous way to finish up Foodie Friday. Yes, it is. We have Boxcar Burgers. Mm. We've got MR Cheesecakes. And in-house, we've got Justin from Fratelli's. He's famous. Way more famous than us. It's true. All right, let's get right into it. I want to tell you all about Boxcar. So exciting. They're going from food truck to restaurant. They open on Tuesday on East Street. They are actually going to be located where Gambrel Mountain left. Uh, and actually Cafe Bueno was at the very start of things. So it's right on East Street at 5th Street. Oh, right. There's a 7-Eleven, the a laundromat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right in between. Yep. And Brett says they open on Tuesday. So you want to get there for that. Previously, you may have seen them at Idiom. That's where I was introduced to Boxcar. Amazing food. Now at Idiom is Steak Bomb, and we're going to try some of that, too, uh, as we... <laughs> Dina, wearing it proudly. Wearing it proudly. Yeah. Also delicious. We had them when we were at Idiom last week or the week before. So uh, starting on... You want to start right there on the yeah, right? Yeah, with the chips. So they do uh, handmade chips. You can get them seasoned or unseasoned. you got to have the Old Bay. That's the only way to go. Mm -hmm. They're delicious, fresh. Uh, and they fry them right up right there. And they're there. real potatoes. Real? No, they're fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. most of real potatoes. Well, <laughs> you just never know. A potato <laughs> isn't always a potato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? I guess. Okay. I guess. Okay. All right, so Steak Bomb, this Ooh. is the first item. Uh, this is the new okay, truck that is now steak. parked permanently at Idiom. It is open, uh, it's uh, Tuesday to Sundays. So you can go there um, and check this out. But we had this actually mm. on Friday, didn't we, babe? Yeah. yeah the steak yeah. is good. Delicious. Is really very good. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing I have not <laughs> had, uh, and I think this is a boxcar thing, is the um, Brussels sprouts. Oh, I'm so Mambo excited sprouts. about yeah. that. Mambo or mambo. I wasn't Mambo's sure which, Mambo. but we'll just tomatoes, eat them. Tomatoes. doesn't matter. Mm. I love Brussels sprouts. They're good. Yeah, that sauce is like mm -hmm. a. It's saucy. It is saucy. It's like a. Is it balsamic? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's tangy. But it's thick. Well, balsamic glaze. It's probably yeah. a glaze. No, I like that. Mm hmm. I, I use balsamic glaze on everything. I mean, the fact that people have now made Brussels sprouts like a Usually. thing to order is unbelievable. That could be a meal for me. Oh, for sure. Not cool. kidding. For sure. Oh, my yeah, gosh. So good. All right, oh, then we're going to go that. to the Boxcar Burger. Fancy. This is locally sourced grass-fed burger. The beef is from Hedge Apple Farm oh, in yes, Buckingstown. Right on 85. Yeah, Lettuce, yeah, yeah. tomato, pickled beets, and Boxcar sauce, which is an Old Bay garlic mayo. Their meats are really good at Hedge Apple, mm. and you can go in there, and they have, like, specials sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, good for them. Yeah. Supporting local, too. And they have some of the best fries. I absolutely love their mm. fries. Again, when you're sitting, in, sitting at Idiom having a couple cocktails... You always need the carbs to mm. offset the carbs. Yes. Yeah. That they're good. Different they're carbs. To different offset. carbs. Yeah. Different carbs. Now, <laughs> actually, you have to get the chips from uh, from Steak Bob. There you go. All right, oh, and this is one I yummy. haven't tried yet: the sriracha chicken. 
crispy chicken breast topped with Asian slaw, sweet chili glaze, and a sriracha mayo. Can we cut off a piece for you? Yeah, sure. Okay. There you go. Do that. Uh, I love sriracha. So um, they also, let me just see. Yeah, so we got the steak bomb truck, which is now parked at Idiom. We want to thank, for, oh, wow. That's Lord. a bot. Okay. Well, how do you make it smaller? I don't know. The chicken part's good. Mm-hmm. Yummy? Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> Ash is going to finish that up for me. over. He's a good cleanup guy. All right. We want to thank Brett, the entire team. They got there early for us this morning uh, to get this done, as most of our restaurants do. We really appreciate that. Visit Steak Bomb Truck and Residency at Idiom. And make sure on Tuesday you go welcome Boxcar Burgers to the restaurant family in Frederick. We love Yay! that. Yay! Awesome. Right. Heading over to our sweet treats. Okay. Right. Aaron was here this morning from MR Cheesecakes. We have the um, ginger snap. Ooh. That which looks, looks awesome. I'm going to need Do you need another fork there Hang on, to my it. left? Yeah. Hold you on. You can't do No, I can. I can watch. Oh, I was a waitress. Here it goes. <laughs> There you go. See? I used to have them all up and down my arm. We'll let Heath even know if he needs head. any new servers that you can oh, I was carry it. two I... little tiny plates. Well, what's the number one rule? You <laughs> never go in and out empty handed. It doesn't matter whose table you're walking past. If you see an empty dish, you pick it up. Oh my God. Here, try mm. this. I have a clean fork for you for the other. That, that ginger snap, unbelievable. See, look so, at, see how I'm holding that nicely? <laughs> You're not supposed to put your thumb where people eat. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, no I don't eating care. on the edge of the plate. I don't care, but Who it's just the, well, it's server 101. On your head? And this next one is peppermint. <laughs> this next one is peppermint. <laughs> well, how would you hold it differently? Mm. One of each end. You carry well, a trick. You <laughs> peppermint. Amazing. <laughs> All right. Aaron. Want me to juggle? We love Aaron. Aaron was one of our first... <laughs> That he was kind of at the very beginning of Foodie Friday. Since then, he's got his own trailer. You're going to fling that right off of there. You know that. <laughs> he's got his own trailer. He's selling out events. If you want a cheesecake for Christmas and one of these flavors, I would totally recommend. You have to order at least a week in advance. Give him a little bit more time. These guys are using shared kitchens, trying to make things work in such small spaces. But we are so happy he is doing so well. We cannot wait to see what the future holds. MR Cheesecakes. It looks like Mr. Cheesecake, but it is not. M.R. Cheesecakes. Check him out. Support him. We think he's fabulous. All right. Mm, yes. Now to the part we love, especially on our final Foodie Friday. Yay. We couldn't do it any other way than having Mr. Justin Gosnell here from Fratelli. Fratelli's. They have the amazing signature cocktails. They are one of the restaurants that do it right with an awesome cocktail menu. Changes all the time. Made fresh. Made amazing. This is what we love about the experienced cocktail makers in town. Mixologists. Right. Let's see what we got today. Yeah, so we got our, uh, this is our third anniversary martini that we're going to be doing in the restaurant today. Celebrate our third anniversary today. You yeah, stand really close location. to him. So okay. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, Sorry. yeah so okay. we got some uh, premium vanilla vodka in here. Uh, house made gingerbread simple, a little fresh cream, some Baileys, and then we ordered some special glasses here for it. Oh, that are cool. rimmed with local raw honey. We got some ground up gingerbread, cinnamon, sugar, edible 24 karat gold flake. Ooh, and a fancy. special for Telly's cookies. So, so you were telling us that you actually 3D printed, you guys, 3D printed the F's. Yeah, had a 3D uh, printed cookie cutter made just to have the little F's just for the cocktails. That is, see, this is Fancy. going above and beyond and making cocktails yeah. an experience. Love that. And, uh, all yeah, right, we'll let's see. Yeah. All right. And Here's you were one. telling us, so things are busy, obviously, for the holidays at Great. the Kelly's. Yeah. Um, what, um, what can you suggest for people who may want to come experience Fratelli's over kind of the, the Christmas holiday I'll come time? through the week. Okay. So what that I tell people, there's really good happy hours, really good, you know, it's, it's not quite as busy through the week. Yeah. So they do a killer happy hour in the bar, 4 to 7, Monday through Thursday. Yep. So I always tell people to come through the week. And everyone yep. wants to come Friday and Saturday, which is cool. <laughs> But, you know, doing the wait and... Yeah, right. and you don't quite get the same experience if you feel rushed or pressured to move. Not that they do exactly. that there because 
The meals are unbelievable and incredible and you want to, to spend your time enjoying them, but I know I feel kind of pressured sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, if you see a long wait, sure. people are waiting for those tables mm -hmm. and servers are waiting to turn things over. Um, so sit in the bar, have some cocktails, save a little during happy hour. Oh, and, uh, look at how cute. Oh, that. It's Put floating. Oh, on there. Boom. That is okay, artwork. Is. It's like you don't even want to drink it. I know. Yeah. I mean, I do well, want to drink it. Yeah. Still <laughs> I still will. Drink it, you know? I still will. Right. I still will. All right. Cheers. Cheers. To the final Foodie Friday. And to you. Thank you for supporting local. Mmm. It doesn't oh even God. taste naughty. No, it does not. <laughs> It does not at all. These are the problems mm. with these delicious, well-made cocktails, mm. as we always say. Yeah. They don't mm. taste like they're mm -hmm. anything in there. That's I'm dangerous. sure there's not. Uh -oh. I made these extra naughty for you, too, actually. Mm. I, I knew what I was coming into, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. oh my. I'll be sloshed tonight for the Kris Kringle parade. <laughs> That's like the six hours from, hours from now. Wow. I mean, really. Eight hours. Yeah, eight hours from now. I don't I might think take that's some the home case, with me. Yes, <laughs> yes. We might stop at Fratelli's on the way mm. to the Kris Kringle procession and have a couple to keep warm. Is this like an eggnoggy thingy? It does have a little, like you yeah. get a little bit of vanilla and yeah, a little yeah, bit of yeah. the gingerbread. You do get, we what's were talking the, about that last night. What's the official name of this? Uh, third anniversary 24 karat gold martini. That's a mouthful. Yeah, it's a big one. Just say, so. give me the one with the gold rim, please. Yeah, yeah. The one I saw on Foodie I Friday. Mean, absolutely <laughs> delicious. So three years for that's Telly's great. has yep. been, that's it. It feels like it's been longer, it actually. It feels like it's been yeah. longer. But it's been a long, a very in a great way. Of time, in so. a great way. It feels like it's been around a long time. If you have not been to Fratelli's, it is an experience from start to finish, I can tell you. Servers are amazing. Hathen and the team up there are kicking butt. We love it. It's a big place, but um, seats run short during busy times. So go during the week, like Justin said. Have a seat at the bar for a little while. Enjoy some amazing food. And uh, we hope to see them for many more years to come. And for Wet Your Whistle Wednesday! <laughs> We will see. Coming we will next see year. what's coming in 2022. <laughs> Look, you. we wish you guys all the best over the holidays. Have a safe and wonderful holiday season and a very happy new year. We'll see you yeah. in 2022. Cheers.